Chris Blackwell. And here they are. Chloe Cameron from San Diego, California. She was a heck of a wrestler in high school. I read about her in the San Diego Union, and now she's applying that over here. She's going to be taking on Chris Blackwell. Yeah, interesting clash of styles here against two uh, debuting. A wrestler. Yeah, fighting it, out of your neck of woods there in San yes. Diego, California. No, I read about her in the San Diego Union about her wrestling skills, and that's something that, like, again, so the talent scouts here from the LFC heard about her and offered her the chance to come down here. Yeah, incredible. You know, she was prepping for a bikini fitness contest, and you can see right there, I think she would have performed very well in there, but caught the eyes of an LFC. From Edmonton, Canada. There she's coming in. She was told she couldn't try out for the football team. And I'll do the ejection. Foot six, weighed in, 110 pounds. Has a background in wrestling. From San Diego, California. Chloe, the lady killer, Cameron. And now, representing the black team, she's five foot seven. Weighed in, 130 pounds. She has a background in stand-up boxing. From Edmonton, Canada, Chris the Raven Blackwell. Cesar Lascano with instruction. Cesar Lascano is going to give in. the introductions here. All right. And we'll the instructions. talk about the rules in the locker room. All right, touch gloves now. Forever hold your peace. And let's go ahead what, and man. do this. Blackwell is only listed at one inch taller. I don't know if I'm buying that. She ha. looks much bigger. But you know, if if looks can win a fight, you got to bet on Blackwell. But we still have to go ahead and to go through with this fight. So we're going to see what Cameron can end up doing. Cameron in the silver. Blackwell in the very distinctive haircut. Ready? And the black and the red. Ready? Looks like a go. A black widow, doesn't she? That's fantastic work from her barber there as well. And right away. Cameron is going to go ahead and try to establish the kick. Oh, just diving in for the takedown. Got the takedown. Wasn't sure she was going to be able to do that against a much bigger opponent, but Cameron right on top. And she's very comfortable doing that. Again, that's something she did in high school. Undefeated as a wrestler. So this is a very, very comfortable position for Cameron to be in. Ferocious from the top there. I like it. You can see that wrestler mentality just grinding away. Big knee to the legs there. Ooh, she just got that knee right to the forearm of Blackwell. Blackwell pushed. Oh, kick to the body. Oh, Running. my goodness. And she's That was incredible. Blackwell still gets to her feet. She was favoring that side was Blackwell. Again, Blackwell oh, had dressed in black and red, the Black Widow type outfit. That could be poisonous. Cameron teasing that kick as well. Oh, just shoves Blackwell to the floor. Spins around to the back. Look at the agility from Cameron, the aggression. Now, again, when they're down, she can't punch, she can't strike. So, unlike the previous fight where the strike was when they were upright. That's right. Obviously, on the back now as well, going to try to sink in that rear naked choke if it presents itself. Blackwell in a lot of trouble here. Now Blackwell all of a sudden using her yep. size. Oh, fantastic reversal technique there. Now Blackwell, the much bigger fighter on top here. Cameron is in a lot of trouble in this position. You can see she's covering up underneath. This is a bad spot for Chloe Cameron. And you know, those shots, when they land on your elbow, those hurt. They really hurt. They paralyze your arm momentarily because that muscle is affected with that. Blackwell trying to pick her shots. You can see Cameron doing her best to cover up and buck. And you see, oh, there it was. A great Bucked reversal the hips move. And an incredible sweep. Showing the hips of a wrestler there. Both of them back to the feet. Blackwell, oh, Blackwell not giving her room. And that's where the offensive line yeah. technique comes in. That was fantastic. It's not a referee stand-up. You don't get to reset. Blackwell took full advantage of that. Like a great offensive lineman, she pounds Cameron up against the fence. Yeah, that really is a bad spot. Cameron, Cameron has got to get off the cage. This is not a good position for him. And an inside trip there gets her off the cage in the, in the top position. That was beautiful. Really impressed with the wrestling technique. Again, the, the size difference listed on paper says 20 pounds and one inch. I'm not buying it. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. And again, a little bit of MMA, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of clothing 
And very little clothing up on top, but she gets thrown off to the side now, is Cameron. Oh, look at that gorgeous technique. Acrobatic move there from Blackwell. Now has the arm and the leg pin in there. And there's only 10 seconds. Yeah. Can she hang on? Yes. Wow. Fun, Fun round there. What a great matchup. Incredible to think, Biddy, that this is the lingerie fighting championships debut for both of these fighters. We're talking about you know, next level talent and the next superstars in the sport. Both of these ladies brought it in that opening round. So who would you give? Who would you give that to? Well, I tell you what, as we watch the replay here, I, I, I would probably go with with Chloe Cameron to be honest with you. As, as we can see from the replays here, the way that she was able to handle the grappling game, uh, get to the back a couple of times, was able to score these takedowns. While Chris Blackwell certainly fought back, I, I thought the majority of the action was going towards Chloe Cameron. But th I thought at the end, though, all of a sudden, and again, sometimes judges are influenced by that because at the very end of it. It was all of a sudden where uh, Cameron, you know, was found herself on the defensive side and Blackwell was uh, the aggressor. You're absolutely right about there. As you see Chloe Cameron getting some coaching in her corner, still looks to be fresh enough. You're right, Benny. A lot of times judges remember what they see last. I think had Blackwell had a little bit more time uh, with that position, maybe she could have stolen it away at the end. I just think she ran out of time there. Cameron, you can see, breathing pretty heavily over I there. I think she got tired. I I, and I think, you know, you mentioned about now, the difference in size about the weight difference, that you're not buying a 20-pound difference. And I think, it, you know, cumulative, that weight finally took over. I agree. I kind of feel like maybe Cameron just weighed in at what she weighs in, her walk-around weight. We didn't get a chance to ask her about that. Of course, you would never ask a woman about her weight. But, no, uh, never, I'm, never, I'm, never, never. I'm assuming that's just what she walks around as, where I got to believe Blackwell cut down to get to that 130 mark, because she just looks massive in the cage tonight. And look, she, Blackwell looks fresh. Yeah, she does. Again, in that black outfit with red. Looks like a black widow. Probably just as poisonous. They all are, man. They all are. <laughs> Chloe, look at on the other side. Angelic looking in that silver outfit. Well, she's she's anxious, she's ready to yeah. Go. She wants Cesar Lascano, the referee, to go ahead and ring that bell. What do you guys know about saying I'm tired? <laughs> I think she heard us. Cameron taking her time. Oh, Blackwell with the low. Oh, gosh, slapping low Ooh. kicks there. That was a solid kick. Really is. She could. She's trying to strike at the, and I think, I don't yeah. think she realized she can't. I was going to say, it looked like she was trying to land that right hand over the top. She might have gotten lucky that it was blocked, to be honest with you. Those low kicks just chopping away there. Unless Blackwell catches it, that is not good. And she's definitely going to strike the face. She really is. She's getting lucky right now that she's not landing, to be honest with you. Cesar Conscano would be right there to take a point away. And the former offensive lineman Blackwell now using her leverage and using her weight on top. Right arm is under the neck there. She can circle around to the back. See Cameron being very aware of the positioning right now, trying to turn inside. But Blackwell rolls her back. Oh, that right arm around the neck. Can she get the choke, the rear naked choke? She's got both hooks in on the back. Cameron is in a lot of trouble here. And she's got it. it down. She went out cold. Right in front of us. Out cold. Wow. Fantastic finish from Chris Blackwell. And Blackwell, I think, imposed her size, imposed her physicality. And that's how she was able to go ahead and get this win over Cameron. Wow. Chloe Cameron, I think she's all right. They're tending to her now. She's yeah, out. I need to roll her over. Yeah. She's out. Yeah, she was out cold. Did not want to tap. Tried to hold off for as long as she could. And they're tending to her. And we'll I mean, see that's now. That's a warrior's mentality, just, just going out on your shield, so to speak. Blackwell's corner checking on her. She's not coming to just yet. Now it looks like maybe and she's we'll waking up We'll see if we get a, a doctor bit. ring. Yeah, she's, she's waking up. Again, it's, 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 a, it's a blood choke. The rear naked choke is not an air choke. It's a blood choke. And if it's held on too long and you don't tap, you will go out. And John, her eyes look pretty yeah. clear right now. I always look for the eyes to see if they roll back. And again, this is when she was on top, trying to strike to the face, which is illegal. But at the end of the day, right in front of us, you see Blackwell working that arm. And you called it, John. Yeah, right underneath the neck. It was a really interesting series because Cameron was doing such a good job of slapping the leg with those low kicks. It looked like she was really trying to chop down her opponent. But Blackwell caught one of those kicks, was able to work around in the back, got that choke underneath, and used that power to sink in the choke. Credit to Cameron, that Warriors mentality. She was not going to tap out. Fantastic. She stayed right in there until she went out yeah. cold. And just a fantastic fight for both of these ladies. And they're, try they're still tending to her because she's not 
a killer. Able to breathe quite like she wants to be able to breathe. Probably doesn't remember exactly what happened, to be honest. And that's the unfortunate byproduct. When you go out in those chokes like that, you really don't always remember exactly what happened in the moments before. But that's a wrestler's mentality. She wasn't going to give in. She wasn't going to give in, try to go as long as possible. And I think, I think she's going to be a fight. So let's get the official time here from Mike Adams. Number two, your winner, by way of rear naked choco, Chris the Raven Blackwell. Chris, real quick. So Chris. the lady from Edmonton, now we're going to get an interview with Mike Adams. Unbelievable on that. Sunk in the rear naked choke, took you a couple of rounds. Is that what you wanted to do to finish the fight? Oh, well, yeah, my groundwork, I've been working on it. I knew her groundwork was good, so she wouldn't stand me up. And I was really trying to stand up with her. She kept trying to take me down, take me down. So I saw it and I took it. Big win. Big round of applause for Chris the Raven Blackwell. Let's go back down to Benny and John. A great move right there by Chris Blackwell to go ahead and get the win. Chloe Cameron is all right. Still stunned. The air was completely taken away from her, but I think she's going to be fine. Both of them fantastic fighters. I look forward to seeing them both again in the uh, lingerie fighting championships cage. Our next fight is going to be.